I was a mortgage broker. Charlotte is a banking city, and 30,000 of us lost our jobs the same day. There were times I, I had nowhere to go, and I slept in my car, which I never thought I would do that. I had talked to a company, and they were going to put a, an office near D.C. And um, I had an airline ticket to come to interview, and I came to Baltimore. The people never showed at the airport. They had counselors. I went to counseling. They had classes. And I took some classes. They asked me if I would consider moving up into the mountains of Maryland, which I had no idea where I was. I remember walking in that apartment and locking that door and taking a deep breath. I'm safe. I'm finally safe. So I just began to rebuild. I, I believed in myself. Starter Hill gave me time to heal, but I needed now to relive again. And this gives me so much opportunity. This building here at Crossroads gives me so much opportunity to just get back to a normal life. They, they encourage you a lot to, to keep moving forward. I can remember coming down the interstate on the bus and there is an exit saying Providence Road and that was where I raised my children in Charlotte on Providence Road and I thought to myself God's telling me you're going home I don't get too upset about them not showing up at the airport because I believe God showed up and Kevin Jarrett each showed up. Well, we more like sisters, really. Yeah. So, I mean, it looks out for me, don't yeah. you, I mean? Mm -hmm. Make sure I, I call okay, her. Call, calls and check on me, mm -hmm. see how I'm doing and stuff. We did lots of drama classes and different plays and stuff. I was in Batman. I was in Batman. <laughs> yep, Batman. And then I was in the, the Brady Bunch. I was in that one. You was in the Brady Bunch. Brady. I did the Jefferson. Yep. They said I blew up. They said yes, I did an excellent job. She nailed that song. Thank you, Kanish. And I was Tina Turner. <laughs> I had the wig, the hair, the stocking, <laughs> the dress, the gloves, <laughs> the fishnets, fishnet pantyhose. I've been here 11 years. So I've been here 10. Wipe tables, pick up trays, help on the tray line, do coffee if they need me. Going in the back in the dish room, pull dishes. Me, I do the same thing. When people do get lost, I show my man the building did. Like when I first started in, I didn't know where to go. I was lost. And okay, they were to show me how to get out. I ended up doing it myself. I get my own money. I got I got my own bank account, savings account, do what I want. Get my hair done. Yeah. I get my Spend the money. They have to understand. We might have special needs, but we're smart. Uh -huh. We're very smart. She's pleasant. She's a good friend. She's loving. She's a great vacation getter. <laughs> I like going on vacation with Ali. She's lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs>
Yep, hang around with. And to hang around yep. with. She keeps me happy. That's all? Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I, like you said, I've been here since I was eight years old. They more like family than me. What more can I ask for? Right? Mm -hmm. For 18 years, I was a professional chef. I have medical issues and I hit rock bottom. So I lost my job. And with me losing my job, I fell behind on my rent, and I lost my apartment. And I couldn't figure out a way to get caught up or get back on my feet, so I ended up becoming homeless. I was that type of person that would see them on the bus and be like, oh, they don't have to live like this. And I got a chance to see how the other, kind of how the other half lived. And I think people need to realize that homelessness in America is not a choice. I had gotten accepted into the Learn to Earn program here at my sister's place. They made a position. They offered me a position here. They were willing to work with me. They were willing to, you know, give me a chance and, you know, show me and teach me. That made a big difference. That gave me a, a big boost to have that type of camaraderie and helpfulness. And I couldn't have gotten that anywhere else. I get a chance to give back. I get a chance to interact with people that I was in the shelter with. And now that, you know, they see me like a beacon of hope. I offer Melissa uh, you know, a shoulder to cry on, a shoulder to, you know, somebody to listen to. Them. And they come back with success stories. And that puts a smile on my face because it's like, okay, that's another one that made it through. I live each day thanking God that I made it to see another day. And I thank him for putting me in this place at this time, because that's where I needed to be at. Yes, it's hard because July is not saving in the when you come to United States. I never knew the problem I was going to face. Y yo firmé una orden de deportación. And like not knowing it, I signed a deportation letter. The first time when I came to visit the, to the Esperanza Center. I have it for a long time before I have a problem when my ex-husband is it's a little difficult because I don't like to talk too much. I got the second time for Esperanza Center and I remember the her name the, the lawyer is Jennifer. We are live because I have a, they are have a permit for a stay in the United States and, and I have, I don't have a more, como se dice, escondiéndose? I, I no longer have to hide. You 
no one in my family have ever gone to college. I was able to um, get a full ride to go to Loyola University in Maryland, major in biology from Loyola, and I decided to get a doctorate in pharmacy. So I'm studying in pharma, I'm in pharmacy school at Notre Dame University. My dream is to eventually go back home, open my own clinic, and help those that need um, free courses and can't afford them, like my mom when she was a kid. She worked really hard. I know how many sacrifices she had to make. I know that she she was here by herself, very young. She could have had a different life issue. She could have left us behind, you know. And I think it takes a true parent to really care and not forget about your kids. So you, that, that to me, that proves to me like how, how, how big of a person my mom is. I just got my green card. Like I'm the first one in the family to yeah, get it. Yes, Esperanza Center I, can do that and help with many people. And I know you cannot help everybody, but helping one person can, can cause a ripple effect and you can help a lot. You can affect many more lives.